Gail Porter is a Scottish television presenter, television personality, former model and actress. In the 1990s she became known for photos in men's magazines such as FHM, including one nude which was projected onto the Houses of Parliament. She moved into television, becoming a presenter on British TV. Her modeling was affected by alopecia, which can sometimes result in an almost total loss of her hair. Life and career Porter attended Portobello High School. She studied for a BTECHND in media production at West Hearts College. After making an unsuccessful bid to join the presentation team of the BBC children's show Blue Peter, she has presented family friendly television programs, or ones aimed at children. They include the movie chart show, Top of the Pops, and Live and Kicking, work for CITV, and programs such as The Big Breakfast and Gail Porter's Big 90s for VH1. In the late 1990s she began to pose for magazines such as FHM. A picture of her naked from behind was projected on the Houses of Parliament in 1999. FHM and the guerrilla marketing company, Cunning Communications, and projectionist artist Malcolm Litson and Jason Bridges, accompanied it with a message to vote for her in the FHM Sexiest Women poll. In her autobiography, Porter says she did not know about the stunt until it was reported the following day. In 2001, Porter took part in the reality television show Celebrity Blind Man's Bluff and in 2003, she was on Channel 4's The Games, although injury truncated her participation. In 2004-2006 she presented three series of Dead Famous and in 2009 presented episodes of The Gadget Show, temporarily replacing Susie Perry. In 2008-2011, Porter was a regular panelist on Channel 5's The Right Stuff. In early 2009, Porter's mother died of lung cancer, aged 60. In 2010, she was a guest team captain on What Do Kids Know? with Rufus Hound, Joe Swash and Sarah Cox on watch. In August 2010, she began the two-way street campaign for solicitors Russell Jones and Walker, an initiative to develop the relationship between HGV drivers and cyclists, keeping them safer. In October 2010, Porter hosted a documentary on current TV titled Gail Porter on Prostitution which investigated prostitution laws. In 2014, Porter said she would be guest editor of Fashion Plus magazine. She appeared at London Fashion Week in September 2014 and wrote of her experiences for the magazine. On August 27, 2015 she entered the Celebrity Big Brother house representing the UK. On September 15, she was the fourth housemaid to be evicted after spending 20 days in the house. Alopecia In 2005 Porter developed alopecia totalis, losing her hair. She decided not to wear a hat or wig in order to raise awareness of the condition. She became ambassador for the Little Princess Trust, a charity which provides wigs to children with hair loss. On Richard and Judy on February 15, 2006 she showed her hair, eyebrows and eyelashes were beginning to grow back. On April 12, 2006 she said it is possible that I'm going to get my hair back. By May 2010 hair had grown on three quarters of her scalp, and she was beginning to color and style her hair. By the end of the year, her hair had started falling out again. Porter's alopecia totalis was the subject of the BBC One Life series documentary Gail Porter Laid Bare on May 31, 2006. Her autobiography, Laid Bare, My Story of Love, Fame and Survival, was published in September 2007. Other activities, she is a vice president of the Children's Trust, a UK charity for children with brain injury. Porter tried stand-up comedy and appeared at the Comedy Store on November 23, 2009 in the Laughing Point event to help the youth homelessness charity, Centerpoint. Personal life, Porter married top Lauder guitarist Dan Hipgrave in August 2001 and gave birth to their daughter Honey on September 3, 2002. She said in February 2005 that they had separated eight months earlier. Before they met, Porter was in a relationship with Keith Flint, vocalist from The Prodigy. Porter has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and says she has insomnia. On September 8, 2011 Porter told BBC Radio 5 Liv's Phil Williams that she had been detained under the Mental Health Act of 2007, for 17 days of treatment against her will. 
she stated the signature on the documents to have her sectioned was that of her boyfriend, after texting to him to say she felt suicidal. She said she had been very frail, so who knows. She said she felt no benefit from the stay. She praised the staff but said the resources and facilities were underfunded. References External links, Gail Porter at the Internet Movie Database